Hi guys, in this video I will try to cover up most of the things of what you can expect from the CET 2012. Written test, whatever happened have happened, was the most difficult CET in the history of CET, which is again an opportunity for most of the people now to score well. Now what I am going to talk about is the most complex part. Trust me, written test was the easiest part of CET phase or of the admission process, the most easiest thing was a test. In terms of the procedure and all. Because now the competition starts. So this video I will tell you what is going to happen or phase by phase of what is going to happen and how we can evolve. Alright, first of all the results. Your results will be coming out in April. Fine. And they will be telling you to submit your scores again in mid-April. Alright, all these details will be given on our site cetking.com so you can follow us to get the exact dates for these things. Submission of scores. Now you can apply through CMAT score, CAT score, CET scores. What I want to talk about in this phase is last year some people have got a better college through CAT scores than through CET scores. Alright, I don't want to name them but there are a lot of my students whom I recommended to apply through OMS uh, 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 category. So be open to apply for CET and OMS category. Fine. Trust me, you can improve your scores because OMS cutoff last year was lower than CET. So you can improve your scores. So during your submission of scores, you can this time you can apply for your with your CMAT scores and CET scores. So you are increasing your probability to more. So you have a, you can apply through the normal seat and OMS seat. So you have a double chance of scoring the same college or a better college. Alright. Then followed by your May, mid-May will be your GDPI. Second week of May, the GDP will start. Alright. After this, you'll have your first merit list, which will come in the first week of June, early June, or May end. Fine, this time. Follow me on cetting.com for the exact details of the thing. Uh, now, after this, your cap round start, which is the most complicated pass because people, a lot of people miss out on their good college because they're not serious about this. They're not taking the cap round seriously. Now, June, July will be your cap rounds which you have to seriously think about and of course the final results and joinings in July so you are doing the Mumbai monsoon period you will be joining your this phase will be doing the monsoon period so you can enjoy your phase and do that what I seriously want you to think about is the GDPI I want you to start preparing for GDPI as soon as possible so that you can score good you can join our workshops again like CET again I will be taking a workshop for the GDPI also be preparing for everything uh, you can also join our uh, SMS service. Fine, the link of the SMS service is at the bottom of this uh, video. I'll be sending. We'll be sending a daily GD topic based on the center, so you can decide on. So you can prepare accordingly. So you can join us on SMS. You can join us on Facebook. So all these links are going to be there at the end of the video on the site, so that you can follow us on that. All right. For anything else, just follow us on cetting.com and trust me, we're in a good college. Now, I want to also talk about the people who have not scored that good in CET. Alright, so for you people, CET is not the only hope. You got more than enough chances. Alright, for example, you can apply through OMS seat, you can apply through CET, MS seat, you can also apply to the PG courses. In Mumbai, there are 4 to 6 good PG courses which are there and other B schools as well. So, you have a very, very good chance to convert a top 4 B school, Sydney. Sydney so PG is through CET, so Sydney is out. Kajasumaya Vilinkar PG courses are a very very good option for people who are scoring around 95 to 90 percentile. Alright, so please apply to that. Apart from that, you have Dalmia, SIES, these are two again the, the tier 2 colleges after these two, and then Chetna, MET are the tier 3 colleges. So these are the and IES, after that, there are a lot of colleges you can apply to according to your rank scores. Fine. So please follow me on cetking.com or keep in touch with me while if you are my cetking student anyway you are going to be in touch with me but otherwise also please be in touch with me so that you can land up in a good college. My objective is to make you end up in the top 10 B schools. Alright. So all the best. Thank you.